finding the courage to make it what you really want it to be. Mm. Yes. Being able to take a twig off a plant, put it in the ground, water it, and then a couple of weeks later, there's little shoots coming out. And then a couple of years later, it has turned into a plant like this. It's like a tree, and it's fabulous. I want life to be like that. Welcome wow. to the Bambini Swan Studio Gallery here on Crystal Gata. St. Thomas USVI is our new little playground and it's colorful. It is. It is colorful. Lots of great colors. Enjoy. I'll be here for you if you need me. It's about letting that self-confidence that enables you to, to do things that you sometimes don't think you can. I want that to grow. I work on me, and when I work on me, um, sometimes and once in a while I'm able to share it. Because we all, I think we're all on the same quest to make life a better place for us and a special place and I think a lot of times we look in the wrong places and at the wrong things. It's all in here and it's all about finding the courage to, to live that strong feeling of what you really, really, really want if you dare to think about it and it's finding the courage to say, I do believe enough in it to take the steps one at a time to get there or whatever that getting is, but it's about doing it. It's about fulfilling the mm -hmm. feeling that is so strong. One of my first paintings had, um, had um, white little shapes, and I was kind of poking my nose through. To me, the whole painting thing was new, and it was just a miraculous feeling of a white canvas that by listening and by doing and by listening to what I needed to do to dig out what was in that canvas, this face happened and, and white shades happened and then I just went on, life went on and about four or five years later um, I was in Norway and, and uh, I'm doing some watercolors and it's almost the same shape as one of those paintings came up and what had happened was that those white shapes weren't white shapes anymore. They were little figures uh, with a smile. They wanted to be called helpers. And I'm like, okay, I have something to talk to you there, really, so but I said, first of all, I, my education was never about painting. Here I am, I know I have to paint. That's not easy. That's a very, very big challenge, okay? And then I'm sitting here and, and I get something called they, something showing up in my life and they want to be called helpers. And they wanted me to write little booklets. And I said, can't paint, I don't know how to write, I love to read. What am I going to do? Help me! <laughs> Help me! So, but you know, when feelings are really strong and because I do believe in them, I know they take it, take me to places where where I, I need to go to, to um, fulfill whatever I have. You 
have to do what you have to do. You can't listen, and you can't please. You can't do it. 